Hey guys, it's Rob. This is the CF226. I'm just going to do a quick video showing how to flash your Armitan ESCs using Rapid Flash and the Afro USB linker tool, which is uh, just plugged into the laptop there. And I'm just using a servo extension lead, just plugging it into one of the ESCs. I'm just going to flash one at a time. While they're still mounted to the quad, there's no need to remove them. But uh, as you'll see, I've taken the propellers off. Always uh, do that for safety when you're doing anything like this. Okay, I'll just set up the camera so we can see the laptop and the software you're going to need is one of the Google applications. So just down here where you've probably already got Clean Flight or Base Flight, you need to load the Rapid Flash application. If you don't have it, just type in Rapid Flash here. It'll take you to a website and it'll give you the option to install. So let's just open that. Now up the top you'll see COM3, that's what it is on this computer. What I'll do at the end of this video is just do a quick um, short segment on uh, what it looks like on a Mac computer. But uh, for the Windows PC, COM3, I've selected the Afro USB linker. You'll see there's a couple of different options there, but we want Afro linker if that's the tool we're using. And these two windows give us the option for the firmware we want to flash. Now you'll see the various dates there, I'll just pick the latest one. 19th of April 2015 and BSNFET is what we want for the Armitan ESCs. You'll see there's a, a few different options there but uh, what we want is BSNFET. Be careful you get the right one otherwise you could uh, damage the ESC. If you've got Afros probably it's going to be that one, the Afro NFET. I've been flashing a few of the Afros today but for the Armitans we want BSNFET. Got a couple of um, tabs here. Basic just gives you those options which are pre-selected by default. Advanced, this is where you have the uh, the braking options. You've got the Comp PWM which is like a, a form of electronic braking and then the motor brake which is also an electronic braking. So choose the one you want to flash. I don't really change anything else there. Let's just uh, for the purpose of this demonstration we'll select Comp PWM and what we need to do now is just connect power to the quad and then flash the firmware. Fairly straightforward. Okay, I've uh, connected power and down the bottom right here I'm going to just click that flash firmware button. When you do that you'll see it's requesting the firmware and it's writing. Once it's written it'll actually go through the verification process. Now it's verifying. And that's all there is to it. Now what I usually do when I'm flashing any firmware is I'll just do it twice for good measure. Probably not necessary, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So I'll just uh, switch now to the uh, Mac computer and show you what the window looks like there. Thanks for watching. So here's the uh, same thing on a Mac computer. It's the same program, Rapid Flash, and uh, to identify the um, Afro USB linker, what I had to do was select this option here. This is the tty.slab USB to UART. That seems to work. Select the uh, Afro linker again, and then you've got just the same options with uh, the right firmware, BSN FET for, um, for the Armitan. ESCs and then uh, the options are exactly the same and the process is identical so uh, yeah just uh, very easy whether you're using the Mac or Windows PC with uh, Rapid Flash. Thanks for watching.